I am Lauren Brown, and I am a part of the Human Core of Arkansas Tech University. Our guest today is Lauren Brown, a senior from Harrison and president of the College Panhellenic Council at Arkansas Tech University for the 2020-2021 academic year. Lauren, we'll talk a lot about uh, recruiting for sororities here in just a moment, but before we get to that, just on an average student level, I wanted to get your perspective on what it is like to be a college student right now in the middle of a pandemic. It's definitely been kind of a new adjustment, especially since the past three years have looked a lot different for me. So as far as my classes go, I'm a biochemistry major. I have had the opportunity to go all in person because we have labs and we have things that we have to do on an in-person level. As far as the way those look, um, of course, we're doing the social distancing and we have our masks and everything like that. But being a student in the pandemic has kind of slowed down my business and my course load, if that makes any sense. Um, all of my meetings are virtual, so that means I get to do them from the comfortability of my dorm room. And so things have definitely slowed down. It's a slower pace, but I think it's kind of something I'm liking getting used to. As we mentioned, you have a, an important leadership position with our College Panhellenic Council at Arkansas Tech University this year. And a big part of that here early in the fall semester is planning for sorority recruitment. And that, like everything else at Arkansas Tech University and at colleges and universities around the country, looks very different this fall. What are some of the steps that are being taken to provide for a safe sorority recruiting process? Um, absolutely. Our main priority was to make sure that our PNMs, our potential new members, and our chapter members right now were the safest we could possibly make it. And so because of that, all rounds of recruitment have been moved virtually. So they will all be done through Zoom sessions. You know, being a part of a sorority or a fraternity is so much about building those friendships that will last a lifetime. How do you go about building those personal connections during this recruiting process that are so integral to fraternity and sorority life in a socially distanced world? Um, it's definitely been an adjustment, but one of our main priorities as an exec was to make sure that our PNMs got to see us right off the bat. So, so far we've already had two different interest sessions where we've gotten to meet with our capacity of 30 girls and we've been able to introduce ourselves as a CPC, but then also um, educate them on how our chapters have changed and what life will look like as a sorority woman during the pandemic. Of course, planning sorority recruitment is not the only thing you have going on. Senior level classes, uh, applying to dental school, and oh yeah, preparing to compete in Miss Arkansas next summer. So you've got a few things going on all in the middle of this pandemic, and many other Arkansas Tech students are facing similar pressures as we go through this academic year, what are your keys for time and stress management? I think my main priority has been finding time to do the things that I love. I'm a huge movie buff and I love reading. So making sure that I carve out time to do the things that I enjoy and kind of getting to have a brain break and focus on just calming myself. I also think that making sure that I have a strong support system behind me has made things a lot easier. It's super simple to have a list of goals to accomplish, but when they say it takes a village, it really does. And so making sure that I have people standing behind me that have gone through the similar situations that I have, like applying to dental school or going to Miss Arkansas, and having those connections and staying in contact with them has made this a lot easier. Many members of the Arkansas Tech family and the surrounding community don't know Lauren Brown, the future dentist, or Lauren Brown, the College Panhellenic Council president. They know Lauren Brown, uh, the person who takes Jerry the Bulldog around to many of his events. As you reflect back on the experience you've had as, as the right-hand person for our campus ambassador the last couple of years, uh, what are some of the things that you'll miss most about that when that time is complete? <sighs> Apart from getting to love on him every Monday and Wednesday during our office hours, I think I'm missing the connections that I get from walking around with him. Having the opportunity to talk to students from freshman level to senior level, but then also getting to talk to faculty and staff. He really is the best conversation starter. And so not having those conversations has been really different. And I think I'm going to miss those the most. That is Lauren Brown, part of the Human Core at Arkansas Tech University. Until next time, so long, everybody.